Today we're reading from my Black Heroes book. And today we're going to be reading about Nefertiti, one of the Egyptian queens. I'm really excited. She's one of my favorites. I hope you like reading this with me. Nefertiti, born in C 1370 and passed away in 1330 BCE. Nefertiti was likely born around 1370 BC, but little else known about her birth and childhood. However, many scholars believe she was born into a royal family. When she was 15, she married the pharaoh Amenhotep, who later changed his name to Akhenaten. Together, they had six daughters. Nefertiti ruled as a queen at her husband's side. Though it isn't proven, images found in royal tombs suggest that she may have had equal power with him. She is shown in dominant positions such as acting as a priest and even striking enemies. Whether or not it is true that she was her husband's co-ruler, the artifacts show that she was respected. There are many images of her as her husband in artworks and historical writings. In one drawing, she and her husband are shown sitting in thrones that are the same size. They are also shown embracing in some artwork, which suggests they had an affectionate relationship. Nefertiti's time as a queen led to many changes in Egypt. When Nefertiti was in power, Egyptians worshipped several gods. Nefertiti and Akhenaten created a new religious practice, calling on all the Egyptians to pray to only one god named Aten. Their devotion to their god is clear in their names, as they both choose names that included the word Aten. Nefertiti's presence later disappears from Egyptian history. She is not shown in any artwork after 1343 BC. Although some believe she may have simply passed away, others have suggested that Nefertiti became a pharaoh herself. Like other powerful women in Egypt, it's possible that she took another name and ruled the kingdom after her husband's death. In 1912, a bust of Nefertiti was discovered in an archaeological dig in Egypt. A bust is a sculpture of a person's head and shoulders. The bust of Nefertiti was in surprisingly good condition and considering how long it lay hidden under rubble. A beautiful woman has come. This is the meaning of the name Nefertiti, which she likely chose for herself.